forecast for Saturday, July 13th. Okay, so we have the moon in Libra again here all day, but what is different compared to the last two days is that we're actually building towards the first quarter moon in Libra that's going to be popping off at 6.49 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here today. So of course, yeah, I guess suppose we have been building towards this first quarter moon since the new moon in Cancer, but since we've been in this Libra energy, it's been more about highlighting the power struggle, the the imbalances, the craziness, the chaos, the indecision that we've been sitting in trying to figure out where it is that we want to go from here. The first quarter moon of any phase is a point of action, a point of decision, a point of choice that usually comes out of agitation and frustration. Now, because the Libra energy is hyper indecisive, we are definitely going to feel the weight of being pulled, torn back and forth, the ebb and flow, the up and down in order for us to figure out where it is that essentially part of us is resisting change and the other part of us is wanting to dive right in. By the time we hit this first quarter moon pop off, we should be in a state where either frustration and agitation is forcing us into a particular path, a particular direction, or inspiration and excitement pushing us into said path, into said direction. A lot of the time, the most powerful of fuels comes out of frustration and anger. That is sometimes the fuel that is needed in order to push us away from the things that we're desperately holding on to here in cancer season and help us pivot into a different path, into a different direction. So we will see the moon go void, of course, one minute after we have this first quarter moon popping off at a 22 degree, mind you, which is a divinely scripted number. We are going to see that moon go void, of course, at 6.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but we will not be locking into Scorpio energy until 10.54 a.m. Sunday morning. So quite a chunk of time that we are going to sit in this questionable period where we are second guessing ourselves, where we are anxious, where we are diving into our fears, our doubts, our insecurities in order for us to dive into that Scorpio energy, which is going to be the main major change, the major transformation in our soul, in our spirit, in our emotional realm, after we do some shadow work, really examining those darker thoughts, those darker emotions, where they're coming from, what they're actually preventing us from. And of course, we use that particular framework to build ourselves up, making the changes, the transformations within ourselves necessary and needed in order to actually get on with this particular show. So it's a relatively quiet day in the cosmos, meaning there are only eight different aspects popping off here today. Seven of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in this Libra and energy going to kick things off in a good start, in a good direction here today with a positive interaction with Venus. Venus rules over the Libra and energy that the moon is currently in. However, Venus is fresh in Leo energy, the heart and soul of the Zodiac. So we get some air and fire working together here, giving us a spark, a fire, a flame, new passion, new excitement, especially in realizing what our heart wants, needs, and desires, what would make us happy happy, what would make us feel safe and secure. Again, this Leo energy is bold and brave and courageous, especially where our emotions and affections are concerned. We're putting ourselves out there in a way that we've been hesitant to do as of late. And so this is going to be a powerful realization on what it is that we need to do for ourselves, what we have to do, what we have to pursue in order to make us happy, in order to bring forth this new version of self, the new wants, deeds, and desires that come along with it. Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger in this Taurus energy, again, cultivating the, the, the fire, the spark, the flame, the passion, the excitement, the motivation, the determination within us that is needed in order for us to stay the course, for us to push through the blockages, the challenges that we know we're going to face when we pivot and start pursuing a brand new path. Mars is going to semi-square, creating tension and conflict with the North Node in Aries energy. And of course, Mars rules over that Aries energy. So there's a little bit of restless narrow, a little bit of impatience, a little bit of, I'm going to just say anxiousness, anticipation. We want to get the party started. We want to advance. We want to see some progress in our physical realm. We want to grow. We want to heal. We want to evolve, but we're just not seeing 
finding the way to do that in the physical realm as of yet. The moon in Libra then going to sextile, beautiful interaction with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves in Leo energy. So our heart space, the moon, our head space, Mercury, they're working together. We're on the same page. Mercury and Leo, of course, giving us some big ideas, some passion projects, some creative solutions to some of the issues, some of the uncertainties that we're currently dealing with. The moon in this Libra and energy definitely leaning towards the excitement, the passion, the inspiration that we are currently trying to get downloaded with, trying to really kind of plan and strategize around. But with this fire and air energy we are definitely having a lot of epiphanies a lot of aha moments on what it is that we want to do from here the moon is then going to make a positive interaction with mars so again mars is in this taurus energy taurus energy and libra and energy are both ruled over by venus venus of course over there in the heart and soul of the zodiac in leo energy the moon interacting with mars in this particular interaction is building us up we are feeling confident we're feeling bold we're feeling brave we're feeling inspired we're feeling motivated we're feeling hell-bent damn well and determined to see something through this is us kind of putting the pep back in our step really kind of leaning towards this new idea this new passion project this new path this new direction that we're anxiously awaiting to actually make some physical progress upon the moon is then going to make a very uncomfortable interaction with saturn so as we've been discussing just as we're kind of getting some revelations, we're gaining clarity, we're feeling good, we're feeling a little bit more positive and confident with ourselves, that dark force energy just kicks in that egoic programming and suddenly we step all the way back into fears, into doubts, into insecurities. Now, Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower is retrograde. So there's an internalized situation happening here we have to move inward there's a renovation in our soul and our spirit that needs to take place especially with eliminating the limiting false belief system and definitely putting into perspective what it is that we've been tightly gripping on very much attached to what we're hesitant to let go of that essentially is blocking the progress blocking the path blocking our ability to grow to evolve we are doing it our own damn selves we are the problem we are in our own damn way now there is a seriousness a somberness that kind of takes over where saturn is concerned especially when he's being aspected and not a nice way negative nancy betty the bully definitely coming out to play and we are going to start picking apart really dissecting really kind of beating ourselves up and breaking ourselves down in the worst kind of ways again reminder we are building towards the first quarter moon there is always tension there is always conflict there is always a crisis point of energy especially emotional energy and this is the beginning of just that the moon is going to make a positive interaction with uranus though uranus being the great awakener in taurus energy again like-minded rulership here the moon and uranus working together is giving us an aha moment an epiphany on what absolutely has to change what we absolutely have to transform and tackle in our physical realms in order to do things differently in order to to kind of create a different realm of reality it needs spontaneous pivot energy and so we have an awakening we have an aha moment we have an epiphany we now know something that we can't unknow and therefore the seed gets planted in our mental plane in our heart space we're going to become semi-obsessed with said vision goal dream realization and this is going to further push us into a path and direction that is going to require us to boss up to new levels of self new wants new needs new desires 6 49 p.m eastern standard time the moon gets into the boxing ring fights it out with the sun this is what gives us our first quarter moon crisis conflict tension point this is essentially growing pains so we're going to have to sit with it again there's going to be a new aha moment a new emotional awareness a new light bulb moment popping off that's going to totally change the game and again just a reminder that most of these realizations come out of tension conflict unhappiness craziness chaos frustration agitation does it feel good no 
is it supposed to? Absolutely not. A square is supposed to highlight the tension on where it is that a part of us is still holding on to the old and essentially holding us back from actually moving on and moving forward. And then the other part of us fighting against that old version of self to really push us into the new. One thing we can expect is for emotions to be super high, for sensitivities to be at an all time high, and for us to be hella indecisive. The back and forth, the cha-cha-cha that we are doing between all the different options, opportunities, and different variables. It is at this particular juncture at 6.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that the moon is going to go void, of course. This is where things get shaky, uncertain, unstable. This is where we're going to throw ourselves, catapult ourselves into indecision. Again, the growing pain is highlighting where it is that we're desperately holding on to the old and where it is that we're blocking the path and the progress towards the new. The last thing that we have going on here today, the moon is in Libra energy. It is void, of course, and we are sitting across from directly opposing Chiron, the wounded healer in that Aries energy. So this is bringing up all the fears, all the doubts, all the insecurities, all the questioning, whether or not we're capable of doing said pivot, whether we're going to be able to actually achieve our dreams, whether we're going to be able to actually make this change, this transformation. This is us getting down on ourselves. This is us exposing the wounds of our egoic programming that essentially want us to stay in the same spot in a state of paralysis so that we do not grow, that we do not evolve. We have to sit in the darkness in order to appreciate the light. We have to sit in the fears, doubts, insecurities, and vulnerabilities in order for us to build ourselves up to a new placement of power.